in Malawi, one of the world's least developed countries with 50% of the population living below the poverty line. Agriculture employs nearly 80% of the people, but productivity is low. The Longwe Dairy Group buys milk from local farmers, encouraging them to produce more milk more efficiently and contributing to jobs in the rural areas, decreasing the need for urban migration. Agribusiness in Malawi is the key driver for employment. The Longwe Dairy started very humbly in 2001 as a new entrant into the sector and has grown now to be 60 to 70 percent of the market, um, leading in innovations and technology and partnerships with the farmers that supply milk to milk collection centers, which milk is brought to the dairy where we do the processing, add value, and then do the marketing in Malawi. The aim of every small-scale farmer is that the day they milk their cow, they want to be able to get a return for that milk. And if that supply chain is robust and supported fully, then they, the farmer is encouraged to keep producing more milk. And as of last year, we know that at least 40-something percent of the milk basket is still imported into Malawi. So there is a massive opportunity for the company and small-scale farmers to produce more milk and market more milk for Malawi. Before I started the milk to the packing group, I was just vending my milk to the tea room and the houses. And the Ilongwe Dairies, they give the farmers the soft loan. This is a great opportunity to the farmers to supply more. End of the month, farmers get more money. Our business model or our most critical uh, partnership in our business is uh, the small-scale farmers. There is no commercial farms that produce milk in Malawi. In 2005, the Longwe Dairy was the first company to introduce what we call UHT milk, which is the long-life ambient-stable milk. It allowed us to be able to collect milk from the small-scale farmers, be able to um, uh, process and uh, produce some preservation, allowing us to distribute throughout the country. It allowed a balance uh, in terms of uh, allowing us to reach the, all the corners of Malawi without uh, a refrigeration burden, but also it allowed us to be able to manage seasonal uh, um, increases or decreases from the small-scale farmers. The more we have grown, uh, the less the country has imported, and the more the low small-scale farmers have produced. So with the nature of small-scale farming in Malawi, it's a big risk for a business like ours to invest substantially in uh, equipment when we are not sure about milk supply. The investment with no fund will allow us to manage the risk that is contingent with working with small-scale farmers. It allows us to understand that we have a security of supply that we can rely on, supporting the small-scale dairy enterprise to produce more, but also supporting us to be able to invest ahead of in terms of the equipment and infrastructure and technology to be able to keep replacing the imported products or trying to fill the gaps in the market. We also build a lot of uh, business relationships with the bulking groups in terms of offering infrastructure support, in terms of offering training support, in terms of offering free on loan of equipment. So with this investment from Norfund, uh, we are very confident that uh, we'll take it to the next level and become a regional player and uh, start to grow our footprint outside of Malawi allows us to increase the nutrition and food security, allows us to be able to invest ahead of the curve, but also allow us to be able to consume all the milk that is produced by the small-scale farmers, invest in more advanced technologies that allow us to produce uh, baskets of products uh, that are currently imported that are not produced in Malawi at the moment.